Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Darren. I hope you're all well and I've had a good stitchy week or two. So it's been two weeks since I did my last video. Um, but obviously I had my specialist appointment last week. Um, so I'll tell you what happened with that one, not much. <laughs> uh, so I went to see the specialist and he sent me for a load of tests. So I had to have a stress test, which is the one where you go on the running machine. Um, that one was fun, because you have to have an ECG before and then after. Um, now I've had a couple of ECGs already, and normally they just stick the pads on you. Um, this time, no, nah, they shaved off any little bits of hair that I needed to get the uh, pads on. And then they got sandpaper out and sandpapered me. I don't know what that's all about, but hey. <laughs> When he said he was going to put new sandpaper, I was like, what? <laughs> so yeah, sandpapered me and then put the patches on. That went all, all okay. That one I had yesterday, uh, straight after work. So from, the, and you had the ultrasound of your heart at the same time. So I had the ultrasound first and they said that all looked okay. But then you have it again after you've finished on the treadmill. Straight away, you've got to finish on the treadmill and jump straight on that. So I don't know the results of that one yet. I'm going to have to wait. Got to have a fasting blood test done, and then I have to have a CT scan. So yeah, all fun. So hopefully we can get to the bottom of what's going off there. Um, so again, um, welcome to any new subscribers as well. I've had a couple of new subscribers, um, so I hope you like what you see. And again, if you are new uh, and you do like, please feel free to subscribe. So I've got a few projects to go through that I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. As you can see, they're right behind me because I've got a box at the side of me with the tiger cat in it. Uh, I got a parcel delivered and he decided he was claiming the box. <laughs> so if you hear anything strange noises, it's probably him ripping the box to bits. But just so that you are aware. So I've got projects I've been working on. Um, I've had some stitchy kindness and some stitchy mail. So a couple of things to go through for you. Um, so what should we go through first? We'll go through the what I've been working on this week, um, well, the last two weeks, um, first of all. So the first one, um, I did a bit more work on my hard hanger. Um, so if you remember, I'm giving this a try to see how I like it. Uh, luckily my border matched up, so I'm well happy with that one. And then I started working on the inside. No, I don't know. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see these. It doesn't really show, but I'll be doing eyelets. <laughs> so, a couple of eyelets in there. I think this fabric may be a bit too small for the eyelets. I don't know. And there's some funny squares in these ones. But this is actually getting ready for the cut work as well. I've got to do some cut work on this one. But I've just got to go around all this first and do all these eyelets and whatever these are. And I've got some stripes to run down there. And then it will be starting on the cut work. So, Done a little bit more work on that one, so let's come along. I'll get that finished eventually. <laughs> so, right, let's get into the proper stitchy stuff then. So, the first piece then I worked on is uh, one of the pieces for my brother, uh, which is a Heaven and Earth Designs, and it's called Woodland Christmas. It's artwork by Donna Gelsinger. So that's what this one will look like. And I'm only I'm on in this top area up here. So this one has been done on a 28 count easy guide. And I'm doing it 2 over 1 at 10 stitch. And what did I get in this one? I've got 550 stitches in on this one. <laughs> I didn't get much in it. So this is where this one is up to at the moment. So again, I just continued along with this color and put in the whites for the snowflakes or clouds, whatever they're meant to be. And when I get to about here where this needle miner is, it's known enough a whole page of white. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> so that's where that one is at the moment. This one again is a, a long piece. So this one's gonna take a, a while. I think it said there's 54,000 white stitches in this, so that's going to be fun to do. I'm going to say, but most of it I think is in that one big block on the next page. So that's that one. 
The next piece I worked on then is another Heaven and Earth design, which is by Quick Stitch Spirit of Winter Robin, aka Posh Robin. And this is artwork by Ciro Machetti. Which is this one. So this one I did with a Stitch With Mate, and then did a bit more work afterwards when I was on my Zoom. Uh, anyone who was trying to join in the Zoom for the USA area, I do apologize. For some reason, the link wasn't working. So I emailed some people um, with the link and I put it in the Facebook group and for some reason the link wasn't working and I was sat there for an hour and I was like okay nobody's wanting to join <laughs> and then I got a message from Maria who said that she couldn't get in and I was like you're trying the right code and she's like yep so I had to reset the code so apologies for anyone who was trying to join in that I couldn't get in um, obviously because it was already running I couldn't get the emails out to let everybody know I did update it in the Facebook page and speaking of the Facebook page uh, if you are interested in joining that one um, that one is linked down below again do need to stress that you do need to answer the three questions in order to be accepted if you do not answer the three questions then you will be declined we've had to decline a few people um, this week because um, they've not answered the questions so please just answer the questions and you'll be accepted so right went off on a tangent there um, so, Spirit of Winter Robin um, is done 28 count, 2 over 1, 10 stitch. And I've got 843 stitches in on this one. So, he's now got his top hat and his tails. And I started working in on the border. So, we've done a fair bit on there. I still need to do his beak. <laughs> so, he looks more like a bird than an alien. But, hey, there we go. So, keep this up. Okay, I'm enjoying how he's turning out. And these, this is the bottom of the face, this is the, uh, the berries at the bottom. So that's my quick stitch of Spirit of Winter Robin. And I did have a plastic bag, there it is. Let's put that in there so I don't lose it. <laughs> Again, excuse me, rustling. Uh, the next one is another one of my Christmas ornaments, which is Heaven and Earth Ornament, The Enchanted Christmas Snowman. Again, it's artwork by Donna Gelsinger, which is this one. And this one I'm doing all the black first. So this one again is on 28 count Lugana. And I'm doing it to 201 tenth stitch. And this one, I've only got 445 stitches in. Well, this is where we're up to now on there. Let me move the lollipop. There we go. So, all I worked in on this one mainly was the, the brim of his hat. That was a lot of stitches. <laughs> so, that's where we're up to on that one. We'll see how much more of that we can get done in the month of December. The next piece I worked on then was my Daydreams Tiger by Charting Creations, which is this one. And I'm working in this area up here. Now, as I mentioned, this one is what I'm doing with the challenge for with Nicole from one of my uh, Facebook groups. And last time I did a video, I said I was going to put in where she was starting from. <laughs> I completely forgot. So I've got those pictures. So I'm going to put in where she's starting from. Uh, she's in this one here and moved across to over here. Uh, so I'm going to put a picture in of that one. I'm also going to put a picture in of where she's on there now. She's done just over 5,000 stitches, I think. So she's way ahead of me. So I'm doing mine on 28 count easy guide and I'm doing it two over one tenth stitch. And I put in a total of 1100 stitches. So at the moment for the challenge, I'm at 1,601 stitch. <laughs> move the part threads. Try and move the part threads the other way. So this is where I'm up to now. So I think last time you saw it, I've done somewhere in this part. I think. 
maybe. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, so now I've obviously filled in a lot over here and I started doing some more of the outline of the tiger. I'm going to say, excuse the part threads. I was just going to start colour completing each page, but then I started working on the black and just got carried away. So this is where we're up to on that one now. It's coming along. So that was that one. Um, the next one I worked on was my Mirabilia, which is my Archangel. And as you're aware, last time I was working in this wing up here. So I did a bit more work on that one during the zoom. Now I haven't put down how many stitches I put in this one, um, but I think it was around about two to 300, I think. So this is where that one's at now. So as you can see, I filled in a lot more of the wing. So I've just got one more color to go through that part. And I've worked my way down here as well, but mainly I worked in this top section up here. So I don't know how many stitches I put in this one, as I say, I haven't even marked it off on my chart yet. So I'm not sure how many I've done on that one. That one's coming along nicely. And that one is stitched on 32 count witch elt permin in the Chloe Mediterranean Sea. And it's done two over two full cross. I uh, still haven't decided yet on the skin, whether I'm gonna do it one over one or not, <laughs> but we will see. Uh, the next piece is a new star. And this is a chart that I created. And I've called it Sleeping Koala. Um, this chart is available on my Facebook page as well if anybody is interested in it. Is this one? So if you're in the Facebook page, it's just in the file section. So I thought I'd start this one to see if it's going to turn out all right. So I can't work my way across to where his face is here to start in this part, just to see if his face looks all right. So this one got 438 stitches and I'm doing it one over one full cross. So there's not much to start look at really. But that's where I've got for a starting point. <laughs> so this is his first eye part here, which is this one. And I'm working his way down to his nose, which is here. So I want to get like this part page done to see what it's gonna look like. Hopefully it's gonna look okay. I'm gonna say on the mock-up on Pattern Keeper, it looks really, really good. So fingers crossed that it'll turn out like that one. That's that one. Uh, next one I worked on was another one of my ornaments from Heaven and Earth Designs, which is the Enchanted Christmas, a Christmas, which again is artwork by Donna Gelsinger. And that's this one. I'm only working in the background part at the top at the moment. And again, this is done on 28 count easy guide, and I'm doing it two over one ten stitch. And this one got 461 stitches in it. This is where we're up to now on there. So all I did was start, I picked a colour from the top and start working that in. So I've worked around here, filling in that colour. So it's filling in the top nicely. So that's where we're up to on that one. So again, that one gets some more work in it this month. And then the last piece I worked on was my super size tiger family of the jungle, artwork by Jan Ed Patrick Krasny. And I'm working in this tiger here. And this one is done on 25 count easy guide, and I'm doing it one over one full cross. I was aiming to try and get the page finished, uh, but I never managed it. Um, but what are we getting? 1,000, 2,000. Uh, 2,400 stitches in it since last time you've seen it. And this is where it's up to now. So, obviously I was back up here, I think. So I worked all the way down and I was hoping to get this page finished, um, but it didn't quite happen. So I've got maybe about a thousand stitches left to do and then that page will be done. As you can see, there's not much to, to fill in there at all. But this is looking really good. And then from there, I'll move on to this page. Let's see what we can get done. I'm hoping to try and get this page finished before the end of this year. 
and maybe start on this one to get the uh, baby cub's face. <laughs> but we will see. So that's where that one is now. Look how that one's turning out. And apparently I, uh, somebody else is doing this one. It, they posted it in Heaven and Earth's uh, Facebook page. And they started from the bottom. So like the tail of the tiger. And that one looks really, really good. <laughs> and apparently the only reason they're doing that one is because their husband saw mine and wanted to do it. <laughs> so apologies. Um, so that's all the stitching outfit on this, this time. Yep, yeah, that's all I've got done. Um, so that's that part. The next part I got was some stitchy kindness. Now, I don't know who sent these because there's no name on these. Um, so whoever you are, thank you very much. I don't think there's anything on there. Nope, all I got on this one was Merry Christmas. Thank you for all your hard work doing boss tubes, Darren. So, I don't know who this was, but uh, I got three needle minders sent through. So, the first one was this one. Hopefully you can see that, okay. That's the first one I got sent through. These are from Inchwork Design, Inchworms Designs. Um, this one's just falling off the magnet. Stuff on the bag. Never mind. I'll glue that back on. Um, this one is. Hopefully that's going to focus okay. It's a car. I'm not sure if that's a car from Supernatural or not, but. So that one and then I got one more as well they also win these little bags so they keep getting caught uh, and this one again has come off the, the magnet so I'll have to glue that one back on oh, this one's so cute it's a white tiger look at those piercing blue eyes stunning apologies if you can hear my next door neighbour it's obviously that time of year it's quite his grass again I'm surprised he's cutting his grass to be fair because the amount of rain that we've had over the last well since the last frost tube is absolutely been ridiculous we've had loads i want to put a picture um, a video in if i can at the end um where i live it doesn't flood i've never known it flood uh, at all and we got on wednesday last uh, just gone we got 71 mils of rain in one hour and the main street through the town was absolutely flooded. It was like white water rafting. Uh, so I will, if I, if, it'll, if I can do it, I'm gonna put a video in so you can see what that one looks like, but I'll put that on at the end. But that happened while we was at work. And by the time we got home, the road was absolutely clear. You wouldn't have even known that there'd been a flood. So it drained away that quickly, but it was fun. <laughs> Um, I then got another um, stitchy um, parcel, stitchy kindness. And again, I don't know who sent these either, uh, but this one was addressed to the cats. Ginger, Tiger and Kitty, thanks for your entertainment. <laughs> so I got three needle minders. Uh, one is called a cat butt, one is koalas, and the other is a glow in the dark skeleton kitty. <laughs> and these are from Ginger Stitch AU. How cute are those? Love that one. It's a shame it's not a ginger and white cat because that would have been Tiger. <laughs> so, let's get on the koala one. So, yes, I got those ones. So, they're so cute. So, whoever sent those and the other ones, thank you very much. It was really much appreciated. As I say, I don't know who sent them. They just turned up. I was like, well, I'm not expecting any parcels. So, <laughs> that was my stitchy kindness. So thank you again. And the next thing actually turned up today. I was hoping it was going to be here yesterday because normally we don't have a post on the weekends. Uh, but obviously with it being Christmas, they've put a, uh, a Saturday post on. So I was quite, quite impressed that this turned up today. So just before I started filming. Now this is just some supplies that I bought. Um, which is going to be for my Mirabilia, uh, which is Titania. I think I pronounced that right. Queen of the Fairies. And this is going to be the one that I'm going to do for my auntie. 
put in memory of her. So I ordered the treasures and the bending filament and then some cranny. Now there was meant to be another two of these, so I need to message them because they've obviously not been put in. Got them, see that. I'll take it off back. So these are the, the treasures. I don't know if it'll focus enough for you to see. Probably not. No, you can't see them. <laughs> but they're crystal treasures. And then I've got a fabric for it now. I saw this on the site and it looked okay. So I'm hoping it's going to work out right. And this is uh, Belfast Vintage Linen. 32 count in the colorway Blue Whisper. It's actually showing up pretty accurate ish, maybe a little bit more blue. Oh, there we go. I like that color. So, that's the color that I've picked for doing this. So, it's a big enough piece. So, she should fit on that. But yeah, I thought, well, since it's a fairy, and most of them fly around, I have one that's kind of like a sky background. So, I'm going to do a get the flosses out. I'll see if they look all right on this one, but I think they'll do fine. So that's the fabric I bought for that one. So if it works out okay, then I'm going to start this one in January and then get that one done for my mum. I haven't ordered the fabric or anything like that for the other one yet, which I'm going to do for myself. Uh, I just wanted to get my mum's one started so I can get that sent off to I don't know how long it's going to take me, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> And that's all the, the stitch mail I've got. Um, so that's everything. So I've got an assignment due today for college, so I'm gonna get on and do that one. Um, as soon as I get my results back from the doctors, I'll let you know how those went on as well. Um, I've gotta get the blood test done first. So, but that one's a fasting blood test to check my lipids, whatever that is. <laughs> so yeah, I've gotta get that done as well. Uh, but obviously, because you've gotta have it done first thing in the morning, I'm obviously at work, so I've got to find somewhere that's open at the weekend to do those ones. So I think there's one place around here that does that, so I'll get those done probably next weekend. Um, so they're out the way. Um, have I got anything else I need to tell you? I was going to do a couple of shout outs, but I haven't wrote the details down, so those ones will probably come in the next video. Uh, so obviously, we're getting close to Christmas now. We break up next Friday, which is the 17th, and I've got three weeks off, which is going to be awesome. Um, so obviously next week's one, well not next week's, the one after, will probably not be done on the Saturday, since that's Christmas Day, so that'll probably come up on Boxing Day, and then I've got my whip parade to do as well, so, but next week's one will be up on the, hopefully Saturday anyway, um, I'll get a stitch with me, done with me this week as well, so that's done for everybody, don't know what I'm going to work on yet, but we'll decide, <laughs> uh, plans going forward, I'm going to obviously because it's the weekend, I'm going to work on my um, super-sized tiger family. See how far we can get on that one. Hopefully, I can get this assessment finished quickly. And then I've got two days to stitch on that. And then I'm just going to work, obviously, on the charting creations piece, the Daydream Tigers. And then we'll pull out just some Christmassy ones that I've got. So I might work on the Joel Noel, which is the other, like, sampler kind of the 3B sampler one that I got. So I might work on that one. Um, and then do some more, maybe on Posh Robin or something like that. Try and get these to at least a decent finishing point. <laughs> but we will see. Still haven't decided what plans I'm gonna do for next year yet. Uh, I'm still working on those ones. <clears throat> I'm probably be like this one, just a hot mess and just start everything and don't work on much. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, so that's everything from me guys. Um, oh, somebody also asked on the last video I did, what a frangipani is. So a frangipani is just like a little shrub, well, say a little shrub, it starts off as a little shrub, kind of shrub tree kind of thing, and then grows bigger. It has lots of flowers on there. Um, so I will insert a picture of what one of those looks like, because uh, we've got a couple of those starting to flower now. To say they were only cuttings, they're now flowering already, which I didn't think they would do. So I'll insert a picture of, well, what one of those looks like. They smell really nice as well. Um, so other than that, I think that's everything.
yeah, that's everything. So again, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop those down below. Um, you can always email me as well. Uh, as usual, email address dizzystitcher at gmail.com, which will be linked down below as well. Or you can message me on Instagram, which is dizzystitcher on there. And that's everything I've got for you. So I'm going to get stitched with me done now and then get on with my college work. Um, and that's everything. So thank you very much. Oh, I was also doing a product review and I forgot to do it. So because <laughs> I'm, I'm good like that. So I'm going to do a separate video which will go up later on this week, which will be a Fossil Tube Extra, just showing the, this new product. Um, so look out for that one as well. But other than that, that's everything from me, guys. So thank you very much for watching. As always, stay safe. Take care, happy stitching, and I'll catch you in my next video. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.